why should we get to vote on the deal? Because Northern Ireland got to. I mean, when they signed the Good Friday Agreement, they had a referendum where every single voter got a copy of the full text of the deal and they could decide on that. The idea with Brexit is we're being told Brexit will leave the EU, we're going to define our new relationship, but you don't get a say in that. 650 people sitting in Westminster, they get to decide our new relationship with the EU. You just have to sit and wait. Hopefully we'll get it right. And let's face it, nobody thinks this is going well. Then there's the fact that, quite simply, our future, our choice, my group, we've been touring the country asking Brexit voters what they wanted. And they mostly wanted more control, better NHS, better off. Yeah? Well, more control? Yeah, we're going to be copying the rules of the EU, but we'd have given up our dominant position in influencing those rules. Uh, better NHS? Our NHS kind of relies on EU citizens because they make up relatively more doctors per person than English people, then there's better off, okay. Well, contrary to popular belief, Brexit won't literally drag the United Kingdom out into the Atlantic, so European countries are always going to be the easiest people for us to trade with. So we've now cut ourselves off from them commercially, so that's why prices are set to rise. Bad idea. So Brexit voters are definitely not getting what they voted for, and the young, by 2021, so pretty much the end of the transition period, we will have a population in this country that voted to remain. And at that point, Brexit won't be even close to complete. We won't have made these new trade deals with other countries. We won't have re-legislated the country to have all our own laws. Brexit won't be finished and we'll be trying to deal with Brexit for the next 30 years with a population that voted against it. The only logical and democratic thing to do right now is a people's vote on the Brexit deal.